Hello grade 5, how are you today? This is teacher Molly, I'm your science teacher. Are you ready for a lesson in science this morning? Very good! Our main objective is about weathering and you are going to describe how rocks turn into soil. In this lesson, you are going to observe, compare, infer, and communicate during the experiment. You should also develop awareness about the importance of weathering and turning of rocks into soil to our environment. Our new lesson this morning is about weathering and how rocks turn into soil. Class, before we proceed to our lesson, let me show you a video on important tips for staying safe during COVID-19. Class, here are the important safety tips during this COVID-19. Tip 1. Practice good hand hygiene. Wash for at least 20 seconds. If you can't use soap and water, hand sanitizer is a good alternative. Make sure sanitizer is 70% alcohol. Tip 2. Practice social distancing. Maintain at least 6 feet of distance between you and others. Plan outdoor activities when possible. Avoid crowds. Tip 3. Wear a mask. Make sure it covers both your nose and mouth. If you don't have access to a surgical mask, a cloth mask is a good alternative. Plus, always bear in your mind the safety tips. Plus, do you remember our previous lesson? Yes, ma'am. Our previous lesson was all about electromagnet. Strength of an electromagnet. Yes, it was about the factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet. Now, let's have a new lesson. Class, have you seen a marble floor, a stone carving, or simply a rugged stone? Can you describe them? Yes, ma'am. A marble floor is glossy and has different design. Stone carvings are rough. Stone carvings are smooth. Yes, a marble floor is smooth and has different patterns. Stone carvings are usually smooth, but some are rough. A rugged stone, on the other hand, has many sharp, rough edges. How about construction on the roadside? A roadside construction is rough and even. It's bumpy! Yes, a roadside constructions tend to be rough. What happens to rocks when a construction worker operates his jackhammer? Can you describe it? The rock break into fragments. Very good! The rocks break when a construction worker operates his jackhammer. The pounding of the jackhammer on the rocks cause the rocks to have cracks and eventually break into pieces. Let's explore. Let's have an activity. Activity title, mechanical or chemical. Sign skills, observing, comparing, inferring, and communicating. Time frame, 30 minutes. You will need two pieces of chalk, hammer, one tablespoon of vinegar, piece of fine cloth. What to do? One, for setup A, get a piece of chalk and wrap it in a piece of cloth. Pound it using a hammer. Be extra careful in using the hammer. Two, for setup B, get another piece of chalk and pour the vinegar on it. Observe what will happen. Three, compare the changes that happened to the two pieces of chalk. 
based on your observation, answer these questions. A. What kind of change or transformation happened to the first piece of chalk? How about the second one? The hammer smashed the first chalk. The second piece of chalk was destroyed. Very good! Yes, the first chalk was broken down physically by means of hammering. On the other hand, the second piece of chalk was damaged chemically because of the vinegar. Based on the activity, how will you compare the two types of weathering? When the chalk was hammered, it broke physically into pieces without changing its composition. We call this as mechanical withering. When the vinegar was poured in the second chalk, it produced bubbles and then part of the chalk was damaged. We call this as chemical weathering. Excellent! Yes, mechanical weathering happens when a rock is broken down by physical means, just like how the chalk was hammered on the first setup. On the other hand, chemical weathering occurs when a rock is damaged or broken down when it is subjected to a chemical reaction like what happened on the chalk when it is reacted with a vinegar. Let us have another experiment. One, put some dry fine sand in a wooden box. Two, put the box on the floor beside an electric fan. 3. Stand behind the electric fan, turn it on, then observe. Now, answer these questions. Number 1. What happened to the particles of sand? The particles of sand were blown away. Excellent! Yes, the particles of sand were blown away by the wind from the electric fan. Number 2. What agent of weathering caused the fine sand to be blown away? The wind, Mom. Very good. Of course, the wind caused the fine sand to be blown away. There are several processes that affect the surface of Earth. Weathering is an example of the processes that contribute to the many changes that happen on Earth. Some of these changes have good effects, while others have great effects to humans, such as landslides and flooding that happen every year, damaging properties and resulting in the loss of life of many people around the world. Earth is mainly composed of rocks that differ in terms of sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rocks seem to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. The breaking of rocks into fragments is known as weathering. The breaking of rocks results in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason we have amazing rock formations. There are two types of weathering processes. One, physical or mechanical weathering. Breaks apart rocks without changing their chemical properties. Rocks are weathered mechanically by water and temperature. Rocks exposed to the intense heat of the sun crack and crumple when rain falls and soaks into the ground. It is physical wearing of rocks. 2. Chemical weathering. During chemical weathering, mineral in rocks dissolve or change to other minerals. Breaks down rocks by changing its chemical composition of rocks that allows them break down into pieces. It includes acid and oxygen. Example of this is when certain elements react with oxygen, the process called oxidation. Rocks become oxides and their properties change. 
When these elements are in the minerals, oxidation can cause the minerals to decompose and form a new minerals. As a result, both the physical and chemical composition of rocks change. What are the agents of weathering? Water can break rocks in different ways. The strong waves hitting the rocks can make it break. It can seep into cracks of the rocks. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn it into ice. This can trigger rocks to break. Wind. The wind causes the particles of sand and dirt to be blown away. When these particles hit the surface of a rock, this causes scratches, which will then damage the rock over time. It is an agent of weathering that causes many beautiful formations. As wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. This can bring about mechanical weathering, which can also result to different rock formations. Temperature. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature results in weathering. Plants. Some plants like lichens, ferns, and mosses can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause it to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic of life process to these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Trees can also trigger weathering. Its growing roots can break the cemented ground in search for more minerals in the soil. Animals Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. As burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Repeated scratching and kicking of animals on rocks can cause it to wear and break into smaller pieces. Humans Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Human activities like quarrying, breaks down large rocks easily. The use of vehicles and tools such as bulldozer and jackhammer can break with ease. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on a quarry sites to get more rocks or stones. This mining activity can trigger landslides. Formation of soil. Soil is found in many places. What is a soil and where does it come from? A layer of rock and mineral fragments produced by weathering covers the surface of earth. As you learned, weathering gradually breaks rocks into smaller fragments. However, these fragments do not become Come high quality soil until plants and animals live to them. Plants and animals add organic matter, the remains of once living organisms, to the rock fragments. Organic matter can include leaves, twigs, roots, and dead worms and insects. Soil is a mixture of weathered rock decayed organic matter, mineral fragments, and water and air. Soil can take thousands of years to form and can range from 60 centimeters thick in some areas to just a few centimeters thick in others. Climate, slopes, types of rocks, and types of vegetations, and lengths of time that rock has been weathering all affect the formation of soil. Do you know, class, that a good quality soil is very important to our school garden? This time of pandemic, do you have a garden at home? If you have, 
You better use a fertile soil in order to have an abundant harvest. I have here questions from lower order to higher order thinking skills for you to answer and for me to find out if you really understand our lesson. 1. What is weathering? Weathering refers to the process of breaking rocks into smaller pieces. Also, awesome. 2. What are the agents of weathering? The agents of weathering are water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and us, humans. Bravo! 3. Describe how rocks turn into soil. Weathering gradually breaks rocks and minerals into smaller fragments. A layer of these fragments produced by weathering covers the surface of the earth in the form of soil. Great job! 4. Compare mechanical from chemical weathering. Physical or mechanical weathering breaks apart rocks without changing their chemical composition, while chemical weathering dissolves minerals in rocks and changes the rock's composition that allows them to break down into pieces. Excellent! And 5. Why is weathering an important process in the environment? Weathering an important process in the environment because it helps shape the earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different land forms. This is also the reason we have amazing rock formations. Awesome! In what ways can weathering affect us? Give a positive and negative effect of weathering in our lives. One of the positive effects of weathering is the formation of beautiful landforms. And one of the negative effects is the higher risk of landslide. One of the positive effects is the formation of soil for plants to grow and one of the negative effects is the destruction of rock formations. One of the positive effects is the formation of construction materials such as sand and gravel. However, man-made stone structures can be damaged by the negative effect of the weathering. Very good! Yes, weathering helps us harness some important materials in our lives like sand, cement, and some vulnerable stone. However, weathering also has negative effects. This includes higher risk for landslides when people quarry excessively. Weathering also damages ornaments made or rocks such as statues. For our generalization, answer these two questions. 1. What is weathering? Weathering is the process of breaking rocks into soil. Awesome! 2. How rocks turn into soil? Rocks turn into soil by mechanical or chemical weathering. Very good! Weathering refers to the process of breaking rocks into pieces. Rocks turn into soil from minerals and fragments of rocks produced by physical and chemical weathering. Okay class, let's have a short test. Answer carefully.